throne would be in 1483, when the controversial Richard III, the youngest brother of Edward IV and son of Richard III, Duke of York. Richard, claim to throne was a tenuous one. As a member of the House of York, he was the last monarch of the Plantagenet House to take the throne toward the climax of the War of the Roses. To understand the claims to the throne of the War of the Roses, you need to go back to the sons of King Edward III in the latter half of the 1300s. The true heir of Edward III, was Richard II who ascended to throne after his father, Edward the Black Prince died before his father. Even though, there have been some who have questioned even Richard's legitimacy due to his mother, Joan of Kent, bigamous marriages. Richard though was usurped by his cousin, Henry Bolingbroke who became Henry IV. Henry Bolingbroke was also the son of King Edward III, third son John of Gaunt. Both of Henry's son and grandson, Henry V and Henry VI would inherit the throne. Unfortunately, Henry VI was a weak and ill king, which led to the civil war known as the War of the Roses. Henry VI's crown, was claimed by Edward IV, who was descendant of Edward III, fourth son Edmund of Langley, fourth Duke of York. Richard, would claim the throne after declaring his nephews Edward and Richard, the sons and heir of Edward IV, would be declared illegitimate. After this his nephews would be taken to the Tower of London and never seen again. Richard's reign would be a short one when he was defeated and killed at the Battle of Bosworth in 1485 by Henry Tudor who would start the Tudor reign over England. If Richard's claim to the throne was tenuous, Henry's was wafer thin considering his claim was based solely on being the grandson of Catherine of Valois, widow of Henry V, through her second marriage to Owen Tudor.